First things first, how big of an honor is it for you to be inducted into the Amherst Hall of Fame? Yeah, it's huge. Um, you know, I, I when Jody gave me the call, you're not expecting it. And then you start thinking about, um, you know, all the great guys that you've played with. And so it's, yeah, it's uh, it's such an honor, so humbling um, and really tough to put in words. You did spend a couple of years here, so I know it might be difficult to think of just one, but what is your fondest memory here in Rochester with the Amherst? Um, yeah, tough to tough to pinpoint one. I think uh, one that stands out. I think we were it was in the playoffs and we were down to Philly. Uh, we had to start the the, uh, the the series in Philly. We had home ice advantage. They won the first two games at home and we came back and they dominated there in Philly and we came back and um, were able to win three straight and go back there and win one. So, you know, there's a lot of resilience resiliency in that group and. Um, a lot of you know hot fought moments and so moments like that would definitely stick out you know with all the teams you know kind of you played for without your career you know, throughout your career where do the Amherst sit in, as far as uh, holding you know a special place in your heart I'm sure yeah I you know what I, I really think my career took a, a, a an upturn right after the Amherst um, you know just with a lot of the veteran leadership that was here and just the, the atmosphere and um, the passion of the fans and everything else. So, you know, I, I look uh, after I, I left, um, you know, it, a lot had to do with those those years that I had in Rochester and being able to learn how to win, learn how to, um, you know, be a, a solid, what a solid team tem, team meant. Um, so I, I, it ranks right up there. Some, some of the best, best years of my career for sure. Is this your first kind of Hall of Fame um, there was something in in uh, junior, but nothing close to this. And this this is obviously uh, you know is uh, something very special. Yeah. I like the coaching thing. I, I love it actually. Yeah. I I um, I wasn't sure when I first started. I'll be honest with you. It was a, it was a little bit. You know, it's it's obviously it's new. Um, you know, but I, as you as you dig into it and as you get into, you know. Uh, the partnership with the players and, and, and how to, you know, kind of get that buy-in and, you know, it's it's no different than being a, a player on a team. Obviously, you can't go out and play, um, but you, you really have to dig in and, and you know, every player's a, a different puzzle that you're trying to figure out. Um, and it's, yeah, it's really enjoyable, actually. It's, uh, it's been gratifying. Catch up with anyone today? That uh, yeah, uh, Johnny Cristiano, I I, uh, I talked to and I've gotten received some texts from a couple of different players uh, from Cunny and Marty Biron, and so um, you know it's all. It, my problem is that you you fall out of touch with with players so easily just being in this industry, and so yeah, a chance to be able to reconnect with some of those guys makes a makes a big, makes a big thing, big difference. Yeah. Yeah, I may have heard that. You know, was there maybe some interest on your part, maybe some way, shape, or form, you know, maybe joining this organization at, at, at some time or no? Yeah, I, yeah, for sure. I know, um, you know, I talked to Tails a little bit. We had just had preliminary discussions just with, with Tails when it looked like he might, um, you know, take over with uh, here in Roch. But it, it was just more of a conversation more than anything. But, you know, hey, I, I, I definitely would, uh, you know, wouldn't be, wouldn't be, uh, you know, down on the opportunity to be able to, you know, potentially come back for sure. You know, a lot of times, I know former players, they come back here and, you know, whether it be for the Hall of Fame or even if they're not in the Hall of Fame, there's a special relationship between the city and its franchise. Why do you think that is and, and why was it so special to you when you played here? I think it's a combination of things. Like it's, as I, as I touched on, you know, the atmosphere at the, the atmosphere for the games um, is one. Just the passion from the fans, just the way that the teams were built with the type of people that they brought in. Um, you know, uh, I, I can, it's, it's a good question, but, and then you, you just, you know, we still have friends that we have from Rochester here. They're going to be here tonight, and um, I, I don't, I don't know what it is. It's the type of people that that live in the city here that they, they they bring you in and they, you know, they treat you like like one of their own potentially. And so, guys, you know, when you come back, you definitely feel that again when you come back into the city for sure. To tell your two games, <clears throat> two games in one day story ever. <laughs> would, would guys today believe you? Yeah. Well, I, it was it, uh, when I was in, in Calgary there those couple years, I, th I think uh, maybe it was Rocco Grimaldi had done something similar, and so it came up and guys were, 
you know, they asked you, that, that didn't happen, you know, and I was like, yeah, it sure did, you know, but it, it, that was that was the thing, like, um, you know, it, at the time, it just it just seemed normal, right? And it was like there was such a good relationship between Rochester and Buffalo that when they had asked me to come back and to play the second game, it was like, yeah, sure, why wouldn't I, right? And it was, you never thought of it as something outside of your job description or anything like that. It just seemed like, and it just seemed the right thing to do, right? Is it easy to, to relate to today's player? Because, you know, I'll... I'll a lot of former players say it, it's a different player nowadays. They're, yeah. you know, they're stronger, they're fitter. I don't know. I mean, is, is it? Is yeah. It? Um, you know, they, I, th I, I think. <laughs> It makes you, it forces you to be a better coach, I think, right? Because they're they're more in tune with what's going on. They want to know why, and so that in turn forces you to know your stuff. You need you need to have it down, um, and then you're able to. And the, the thing that I that I enjoy about it is, like I'll I'll have a conversation with them. I'm like, hey, I'm thinking about doing this. What are your thoughts? And so you can really have those types of conversations and those relationships with the players, um, and you can, you know, you. Yeah, I, I guess you need to, they, you know, they say, you know, you, you should really care about your players, but like, I think you have to. And if you, if you don't, and if it's, I, I think you're, you're missing the boat in coaching. Um, and so I, as I say, that's, it's, it's so gratifying for me to coach. So when's the last time you were back? Uh, I came on a development trip with, um, with the Flames Farm team. I, it would have been uh, 2014. Ironic. Yeah, they were in Adirondack, yeah, and it came back and um, I was on, a, uh, as I say, a development trip and I happened to come through here and, and uh, said hi to some old, some old friends here.